in telling me stories and winding me up. I look a complete mess in figuring out how to pronounce this all of last night. Okay, I have names to go on this, right? This is another hit and I'm kids fine. I've been so free on this holiday. Snuck out of the house. This is what it is. I'm gonna put all of that in. <laughs> we are off to Germany tonight after five years, I think. We're gonna visit family there, my father-in-law and you know some of our cousins and everyone. Levi's first trip, he's made it all the way to Scotland. Now it's time to see if he will be able to tolerate the car journey all the way there. And for the first time in many, many, many years, I am not in my standard um, traveling clothes, not in my blue gap jumper. Let me show you actually in the mirror behind. I am wearing this new jumper that I got from H&M, H&M Kits actually. This cute little Mickey Mouse jumper and the track bottom. This is £4 in sale and this was two fifty in sale. All thanks to H&M Kits. Otherwise, I wouldn't have changed my travel costume at all. It would have been a standard travel uniform with a blue gap jumper. To be honest, I was already getting fed up with that. So when I saw this, I thought, this is it. I have to get it. It's a bit too warm now to wear this. I'm not going to be wearing this now. I'm just going to keep it overnight because our ferry is at... Three o'clock or maybe half three in the morning. We are leaving from home at nine at night. By the time we reach there, get the ferry overnight and then reach, it's going to be like entire overnight journey basically. And it will get really cold overnight. So this is just a backup for overnight basically. Please leave the roundabout at the third exit. We've taken our first stop now and this Lakshman has been telling me stories and winding me up. He said that we have to leave very early from home because we have to be there two hours before. And he also said the minute we reach Doha, if we reach much earlier than our, our booked ferry timing, they'll actually let us go earlier. Now that we are here, I mean, we haven't reached Doha yet, but we've stopped at the first service station. Now that we've stopped at the service station, he's saying we could stop here for much longer. Um... They're not going to let us in earlier. I was counting on going in earlier. Anyway, we stopped at the service station. Do you want to stop in Belgium, Buffalo? Cool. Yeah, that's tomorrow morning, isn't it? Yeah, then if you go early. No oh, shop, gonna be we there won't early, be. Just... Yeah, that's true. We wanted to stop in Belgium for waffles for breakfast. We stopped there the last time we went about five, six years ago. They only open at like half seven or eight in the morning. If we take the earlier ferry, we won't be able to make it as in the waffle place wouldn't be open by the time we reach there anyway so we've stopped at the service station it's a massive shopping center sort of a thing and it looks like it's open it's already almost half 11 at night and it looks like it's open so we'll probably spend a little bit of time here so that we're not super early there at the at the ferry port half 11 and our friend is wide awake he should Good be night. sleeping now hi hi hello it's just interested in everything around. That is the service station and the shopping center. Super huge and there's Pizza Express, so many other places. Every day I see miserable people doing things they hate just to fit in. I know it's easier to get along peace. Fully, but have you ever thought about you? Don't know why I keep on doing what I'm told to do When the rules are made up by someone we never knew Baby, wipe your tears and hear me out We don't need someone to feel alright Let's do the streets of the Monday Let's call your exes and tell
feel alright I look a complete mess. It has definitely been <laughs> it has definitely been a very long journey. We stopped in Brussels, not Brussels, we stopped in Belgium for breakfast. We wanted to have Belgian waffle because the last time we were in Belgium we had this really nice waffles. This time Latron found a different town. It's like a village sort of a thing and not the heart of the city itself. The people here are really, really friendly and nice. They are so sweet. The place that we wanted to go to no longer make waffles because it's not popular there. But she had so many other recommendations and we came to this other cafe. I just noticed that people here are so sweet and friendly and everyone wants to talk to Levi. And Levi obviously has been very friendly. The social butterfly that he is when we don't ask him to be basically. So he's been talking to everyone and chatting to everyone and everyone else are being so nice, you know, accommodating to him. A lady was cycling past and this boy called out to her and she stopped to talk to him as well. If you can hear him in the background, that's him. And see that lady in the cycle? Yeah, she's the one who stopped to, to actually acknowledge him. Um, The waffle here was so nice. The service here was so nice. I don't remember the name of the town, but I'll put everything on the screen, okay? It starts with Hedge, Hustle, Haggle, something like that. And I'll put the details of all of these things. This bakery is on Instagram as well. Um, what? The wait was the slight detour. We are heading over to Germany now, the last leg of our journey. Most likely, I might cry now. Being still in things I will. What facts belong, it's hard to say. The pattern is so hard to tell. But we're together, that's our game. Round and round and round we go. The dancing over the show is still the same. We reached my father-in-law's place in the afternoon around about 12, had lunch, freshened up, rested a little bit and then we came to cousin's place, Lakshman's cousin's sister's place, so considered sister's place anyway. She has three boys and her parents are also here. They're all having so much fun. Is Levi is a little bit tired and cranky. He got along really well with my father-in-law when he saw him. This is the first time he's meeting him. I mean, they've spoken on FaceTime, obviously, but in person, this is the first time he's seeing him. And he got along really well, really quickly. But when he got here, he's seen these boys um, on FaceTime. But he was a little bit cranky because he's tired. He's not slept enough at all since last night. So he was a bit cranky and he didn't want to get along well with them. But then he's had smoothie, he had fruits, the boys brought so many toys for him. Uh, they brought Legos and cars and balls and everything. And now they're out in the park. They're going to play for a while. I, I don't know what we're going to play. Basketball, football, scooty, badminton, everything. So we're going to hang about here for a while and then go back. It is super hot. I am overdressed for the weather. I kind of underestimated the heat.
boy is so loved. He's easily clicked with everyone else already. Um, and this morning, he just wants to play with one of his cousin brothers. He doesn't even want to come to us. He's happily gone to him. I don't know if it's to do with the nursery or if it is, they're all in the back there, huh? or if it is just his age. But I did notice though, this week especially, before we came to Germany, he's been very independent, very open. He's been walking a lot himself as well. <laughs> 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 they are there in the background. I'm always a little bit awkward filming in front of my family because you never know if they want to be in YouTube videos or not. Where are we? What's this place called? Ubenheimer Schwede. <laughs> Try again. Ubenheimer Spielelands. Ubenheimer Spielelands. Spielelands. Okay, we tried figuring out how to pronounce this all of last night and I still cannot remember at all. It's like a theme park that we've come to today with all the kids. Where is everyone? That's not our family. That's there. And then uh, the others are all over here just waiting to get the tickets and go in. Feeling in my bones, I can feel it in my veins. Hands in the sky, I can feel the winds of change. You live and you learn, and I hope I've seen enough to make something right and make up for what I. Surprised by you Want you to make my heart feel As much as I know it should I wanna get high on you Caught by surprise by you Want you to make my heart feel As much as I know
We've been here for a good four hours and the kids still want to play. And I think that's it. My quota for the day is done. I'm not usually very athletic at all. Yesterday when we went out to play, I realized one thing though, that I need to become athletic. I mean, not necessarily become, but I have to be a lot more active to play with Levi when he grows up. When, you know, when he comes to the age, he's behind there. When he comes to the age where he wants to run around and play in the park, and I look at my cousins here, Fashion's cousin and sisters, and they've got three boys each. So there are five boys with us. One has gone away on holiday. Five boys, excluding Levi. Super active. They want to go and play on everything. And I've actually been on most of the rides along with them also. And I suppose that's what I got to do in the future. You know, I, I have to really become a lot more fit so that I can play with Levi and give him company, basically, when he wants to do a lot of other activities and stuff. of taking pictures and videos myself. I can't even imagine how the rest of the family feels. We were here on Friday afternoon, somewhat noon time we reached, and then Saturday we went out, and today is Sunday afternoon, it's about half one on Sunday. I didn't even pick up my camera much to take pictures or videos at all. I just couldn't have too much. I got like about 400 pictures, I think, of the last two days, 400 pictures and videos. I don't know how long it's going to take for me to sort it out, but it's all such nice memories and to be able to take all of these things. Um, today, all we did this morning was eat, cook, chill, relax. The boys went out a little bit and then I was at home with um, my cousin and sister. And then we are going to go out for a picnic. But what I wanted to come on to say is that Nevi is having such a good holiday here. His stomach has definitely expanded. He's become so cheeky and uh, he's eating a lot more, for sure. He's, what else? He has had his first sugar. He had waffles this morning. Yes, I can't make waffles with sugar. I mean, don't give him sugar at all, basically. The only kind of sugar he gets is a natural and nothing else. But this holiday, I'm like, fine. I didn't expect it to happen this soon, but I... I really hope it's one of. He's definitely not having chocolates, only sugar, and that too, a little bit in the waffles. He loved it. He was so hungry, he wanted to grab it from everyone else to eat, and he stuffed himself silly with, with the waffles and with fruits and everything else. And lunchtime was fed in the garden while walking. This is like going against everything that I've been training him to do and disciplining him to do all this while sitting in high chair, eating properly, finish. Uh, his food before he can go out and play but yeah we walked around with him it's like that's the best we could do because we haven't got a high chair here we haven't got like comfortable place to put his booster seats and feed him and everything and it's a new place he wants to explore he wants to see new things so i was like yeah it's fine he can do whatever he wants to do when we get back to bristol on wednesday i'll take care of the rest of it i mean tuesday night i'll take care of the rest of it and hopefully we'll get back to our discipline <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Everyone's rushing out the door and I quickly wanted to show you this. This is another H&M kit fine. My so-called decent shots to wear with family in front of the uh, father-in-law's. We got to this place and it's such a beautiful garden and a palace. That's that's a palace behind me. I asked Lakshman to take a nice picture of me. I'll put an inside here, okay? He took such bad pictures. I had to show him compositions and everything. And this is my nephew. He's 10 years old. I'll show you what he took and what Lakshman took. Buddy, I just wanna love you. If I'm gonna love somebody, I just wanna love you. If I'm gonna love somebody, I just wanna love you. If I'm gonna love somebody, everyone's just randomly just walking around love. taking photos, photo shoots. That Jason there is competing with Lakshman, and he's actually really good. Okay, he's very good with the camera. I mean, the phone camera, obviously. So we've just given up. <laughs> we just ask him to take pictures for us rather than us trying to take it. We are back in Cologne Cathedral. That's a cathedral behind me. After six years, the last time we came here was in January, maybe February 2016. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in it, so where I can find myself. We've eaten ourselves silly and we said that our diet starts today on the 1st of August. However, <sighs> how can I not eat? Especially this. Oh, sorry, Ate. I like it. It's okay, it's okay. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go. I'm not going so free on this holiday the only thing i ever do is prepare levi's food and feed him and most of the playing is the cousins and the aunt that's all and you know the rest of the relatives and family i have been so free and it's so heartwarming to see him click so well with the rest of the kids and the family you know they've the boys especially have gone above and beyond playing with them they are 10 and 14 and the other ones they are all ranging between 10 to 15, I think, all five of the boys here. And this this Levi, I don't know, I don't know if it's a boy thing or what. He's just been wanting to play like balls and cars and, you know, cubes and this, this fidgety thing. The twister, the roller, I don't know what it's called. But one of those things. And he's been so happy playing with them. And these boys, they've got all the games that they need or they want. Okay, they've got PlayStation, they've got Nintendo, they've got FIFA, they've got so many other things. But yet, 
They chose to play with him. They switched off from everything, left their phones away, they didn't even watch TV, they didn't go and do their own thing. They spend all their time playing with Levi and they know that Levi likes encouragement. When he does something, he loves being cheered and he loves being encouraged. They notice that and they've been going all out doing that for him and it makes him a lot more happier also and he's so cheerful. And yesterday, in fact, he said another word. He said Anna and he said Akka because the boys taught him that. I hadn't even attempted to, I probably did use the words obviously, but not really attempted to get him to, you know, say the words back to me. But these boys did it yesterday, I taught him two new words. Yeah. Yeah. They're out there playing and here I am enjoying my cup of tea. See what I mean about being free? This has never happened. I have nothing else to do while they are playing out there. <laughs> this is our girls hour out girls day out only the boys <laughs> i know the boys went out so many times and we only get half an hour to go out and the damage has already been done that bye bye <laughs> We came to drop Lakshman's father back in his house and Levi has been put in the car. I completely forgot to pack his changing bag. So we stopped in Aldi nearby to get his nappies. But the sound here is so different from the one back home, you know. Everything is in like entirely different layout. There's obviously a lot more things. And I can't find nappies. I don't know if they actually even have nappies here. Found it. The packaging is so different. I really hope it's the right one though. I only looked at the cage, it's the weight, and it's the exact one that I need. Okay. Okay. Ready? Go. Three, two, one. <laughs> it's ten o'clock at night, and these kids snuck out of the house with one small bag each, so that they can come and say goodbye to us. I mean, we're not leaving yet. We're just loading the car now, and we have to hopefully sleep for two hours now, and then wake Levi up and leave at twelve o'clock tonight.
we've just crossed London and stopped at the service station and we've got two more hours to get back home. I was going to close the vlog here, but then I switched on my camera and I looked horrible. So I told Lakshman, I'm not going to close the vlog now. I look horrible. And Lakshman provoked me. He said, be you, be the real you. You know, you have to do it now. So I said, yeah, okay, fine, I'll do it. I'm so sorry. You have to see me like this at the end of the vlog, but this is what it is. We reached Dover at about half six in the morning and maybe slightly before half six and I drove. I told Lakshman I would drive in England because I didn't drive in, in Germany at all. Lakshman drove all the way from the house to Calais. So I drove and I said, oh no, I'm wide awake. It's fine. You can rest and everything. 15 minutes into driving, I didn't even expect it at all. I dozed off. I fell asleep for a good couple of seconds. The car swerved from the middle lane to the right lane, which is a speeding lane. I didn't even realize. All of a sudden, I opened my eyes and the car is going towards the right on its own. And I was on cruise control because it was a 70 road with average speed limit and stuff. And then I was like, I my heart stopped. I looked at my rear view mirror. I saw Levi's face. He was sleeping peacefully. Lakshan was sleeping peacefully. My heart stopped. My whole body went cold. I was so frightened. Oof, I can't imagine what would have happened had I shut my eyes for another extra half a second. Um, but yeah, and then we got stuck in some road, uh, diversions because there was two roadblocks on the motorway and I had to drive right through London. I got really tired because I was stuck in traffic for like two hours right in the heart of London and I got super annoyed and I was falling asleep. Regardless of the tiring journey though, it was such an amazing trip. We were only there for four days but it felt as if we were there for such a long time because we did a lot every single day. We had such good time with the rest of the family. Levi's first trip away from the UK, first international trip and first time meeting that side of the family, you know, they loved him so much, they adored him so much and he loved them so much as well. He's already grown so much in the last four days. The one thing I regret about this trip though is that I didn't document what I was eating. Usually I would film and take pictures of it, but this time, I don't know why I didn't do it. I didn't start off and I couldn't do it halfway through. I've already put on, I think, some of one kg in the last four days, you know, from what I had in Germany. The bakery stuff is so good, the food is so good, everything is just so nice. Um, yeah, holidays. <laughs> we had so much desserts, I stuffed myself silly. Um, my intermittent fasting and everything went out the window. Uh, calorie, calorie counting, and you know, portion control, everything went out the window, but it was worth it. It's on a month and a while. When we get back, we are going to resume detoxing and intermittent fasting. I suppose detoxing is only with soup and porridge. Action's already staring at me. <laughs> he hates he hates this part of the holiday basically where we come back and we have the detox because we lose control and we overeat everything. But anyway, I hope you had um, a good time following me with this vlog. I absolutely enjoyed my trip and I definitely enjoyed filming everything. I'll see you in the next one then. Bye!